I am building a deck and today was a real rush against time. There's a few things on this deck that I would still like to improve, but today that's not important because I am finishing this deck so I can do a photo shoot with it. I did this project with the help of a brand and because of that we're generating a video together and I want to be able to show the befores and afters. 99% of this project is done so I'm going to put the hot tub back up so I can show what it looks like now that it's finished. I put the pump back in position and this was the first time really of me seeing what it looked like when it fit. The hot tub now fits on this deck which was the whole point of building this in the, in the first place. You'll notice that first of all I put down those tiles. They're quite often used for play pens and things like that but they're also really good to use as insulation underneath a hot tub. It stops all of the cold air coming up that is underneath the deck. Who you can see rushing across your screen right now is actually my cleaner. My cleaner was at my house during this day and so I asked her if she could help me with a little bit of stuff in the garden and she very kindly obliged, which was very nice of her. So she's just picking up some bits, tidying up some mess that was on the uh, stones so I can, you know, have a better photo shoot. The hot tub gets blown up from the pump, so you just stick it in the side and it blows itself up. It doesn't take too long at all, actually. I caught this from both angles because I thought it was really satisfying. <laughs> it's so nice to see stuff in a time lapse sometimes. Is that just me? Or do you like it too? Once it was blown up, I made sure that it was in the right position. And I'm not going to fill it up yet because I still want to do some stuff with the deck boards underneath. I'm not going to fill it up. I don't need to fill it up for the video. I just need to make sure that people can really get a gist of what it looks like, the transformation of it. I'm just placing some plants around. Part of me wanting to have these fence posts in the corner is so I could use them as a trellis. I can have some plants uh, climbing up. These are green beans, so they'll be perfect for that. When I get a second, I'll buy some hanging plants that are not vegetables. Perhaps I'll get a wisteria. That feels like a bit much because they grow like mad. They're really pretty though and they do look really nice on pergolas. I know this because my neighbour has one and it's a really beautiful plant. This plant is called Peperomia Hope. I have stolen this from inside the house. This is an inside plant but I thought it looked really good on the camera. Really brought it all together. I added the lid before realising that I didn't like it with the lid so I took it off. I thought it didn't make it look as good as I wanted. But then I remembered that I had to put the lid on because I had some shots that I took before that I wanted to use for before and afters. And the concept was that I would jump on it before and then I would jump on it afterwards, connect those two bits of footage together and it would just look like it was transformed in a fraction of a second. It took me so many shots to get this because I have to set the camera up exactly where it was when I took the first shot to get it looking consistent. And every time I jumped on, it would be in slightly the wrong position. I also took some shots from some other locations that I had made a before, such as the bird's eye view. I took this a few times because I didn't like that I was wearing my uh, hairband on my wrist. I thought it looked a bit untidy. So you'll remember this. This was that shot of me <laughs> falling onto the hot tub in the before scene. And this is where I had the camera set up what I had to replicate when I did this video. I did actually end up using this type of clip. This isn't the exact one. <laughs> it's not the exact one because I sat in a puddle from memory. Yeah, that's wet, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I used one of these and I think it really made the video. So I managed to publish that video earlier this week and ever since then I've been catching up on all sorts of other jobs. This is one that I've really wanted to get through. Loads of stuff hasn't been planted out in my garden so I thought I would do that. I've moved a bit of the wood away because it was kind of in the way. I also had the biggest stash of strawberries. I've picked out a big bunch of onions and I'm letting those dry on the top of my woodshed. I find this often happens when I've got a major project to finish. All of these little jobs just fall by the wayside. And then as soon as I've finished a major project, I've got all the catching up to do. So <laughs> isn't that always the way? I spent most of today catching up with admin in a cafe, replying to emails, following up on invoices, you know, all of the juicy details. And as usual, I set up a video to thank one of my Buy Me A Coffee supporters for 
sorting me out with this. <laughs> and this was when I realised that I've been too busy to shower because my hair is dead greasy. Oh no. Another thing I did this week was to set up a quick video all about beeswax wraps. Now these are one of the DIY kits that I sell on my website so I just wanted to show people how they're used. And I'm just putting away my overnight oats. About five to ten of the actual day that I'm posting this and it's really dark outside but I want to show you what's left to do on this project. As I mentioned I've only secured these down very roughly so I'm going to take these screws back out, turn these over, I want to oil the other side and just add a bit more protection from the elements. I also promised you I'd show you what the edge looked like. This size, this side here has about an inch worth of space and that side um, pretty much nothing. That was because I just set this post a little bit too far this way which is why it's pulling that end out. All of these pieces of wood are going to be reutilized. Some of them are going to add onto here to make an extra layer, make an extra tall uh, planter for my plants. I'm also going to add some wood around the back because currently this is just placed against the wall and um, it's possible it's causing some some water ingress. I don't really want that. So this is all going to be reutilized. I've also picked up these pieces of wood for the top, for the pergola. And they come pre-shaped, which is awesome because that will look really nice in the top. So all I'll do with these is I'll just be cutting out a wedge, uh, maybe like that much, so that they sit on the top of the, uh, the beams, the big square that I've made for the top of the deck. That's the big square. That's what I mean when I say big square. I, d I don't know what to call that, the roof? Oh, I don't know. Some drying onions. I also want to tidy some areas up. As you can see here, I kind of sawed into that a bit too much with the circular saw, so I just want to sand that down so that it doesn't look so untidy. This little area, I'm going to add some soil so that this piece of garden continues. I'm also going to add an extra piece of decking underneath here to fill this gap so that it will be closer to the ground. I know it's super dark out there and you can barely see a thing, but I wanted to get you up to date with where I am on the project today. All of my footage is now up to date. So the deck is pretty much finished, but as you can see, there's still some stuff that I'd like to do before it's completely done and I'm ready to start filling my hot tub back up. I'm also not going to be posting a video on Monday because it's my birthday! <laughs> Yay! And I want to not make content on my birthday. <laughs> but I'll see you when I'm back. We are going to get this deck finished. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.